Hi, I'm Deidre Schlabs. Hi, I'm Abby Girado. Hi, I'm Taylor Bird. And my name is Savannah Tarbett. And today we're going to be presenting our Glossier IMC campaign. Glossier competes within the global beauty industry, an industry that is expected to grow from $433 billion to $750 billion by the year 2024. Cosmetics is now the fastest growing category within the beauty industry, passing skincare, an industry with a size of $120 billion. Younger consumers, like millennials, are at the root of this new industry trend, as the pervasiveness of social media platforms has created more demand amongst these consumers than ever before. Makeup culture has seen a development of being centered mainly online, with hundreds of YouTubers and bloggers performing online makeup tutorials, reviews, and recommendations. Glossier was founded in 2010 by Emily Wess, taking its starting form as the blog Into the Gloss. As the blog grew in popularity, Wes capitalized on her platform's growth and launched Glossier. Glossier is a direct-to-consumer company that operates within the beauty and cosmetic industry. Their main products fall into one of two categories, makeup or skincare. The price point for the products is affordable when compared to other brands, and the company falls in the middle of drugstore and high-end prices. Glossier's products are minimal and trendy with medium-placed price points. The brand operates mainly as e-commerce with a few brick-and-mortar shops. The company capitalizes on unique marketing tactics to appeal to their millennial-based consumers through the internet and social media platforms. For this campaign, we are focusing on the brand's most popular products, Boy Brow, Lash Slick, and Cloud Paint. These products are sold together as the makeup set. Boy Brow, Glossier's most popular product, sells every minute, generating an estimated $8 million in sales each year. With the use of personable marketing, along with other tactics, Glossier has created an online beauty community that has ultimately resulted in a cult-like fan base of customers. Glossier's target market is made up of millennial and Generation Z women who spend their money on lifestyle needs such as beauty products. Glossier uses social media advertising tactics to concentrate on their target market, no matter their geographic location. Glossier taps into psychographic factors by labeling themselves as a lifestyle want that they ultimately fulfill for the customer. Glossier also recognizes the potential of social media and harnesses the power of the everyday influencer and in promotion of a natural self-image. Glossier looks carefully into the buying behavior of consumers to better sell their products. Social media testing and reviews are being taken into account by consumers before they make a purchasing decision. Glossier is not as expensive as the other brands, so the risks are lower because of the low cost associated with the products. The risks can be high for Glossier due to consumers looking to spend more money on high-end products and thinking that they will get better results compared to buying cheaper products. Reviews influence the buying behavior of consumers tremendously within the beauty industry. The influencers who promote or represent a brand is also another key factor. Celebrities and makeup artists often promote certain brands to bring in more consumers and create more brand awareness. The influence of social media is another key factor, which is huge for Glossier. Since Glossier's advertising is solely done through social media platforms, it makes it easy for anybody to see the product being advertised and also helps to influence a limitless amount of viewers. For Glossier, the influential factors include influencers who are promoting or representing the brand. These include bloggers, Instagrammers, and YouTubers. Reviews hold substantial influence within the beauty industry which makes makeup review sites and magazines very influential for Glossier. Current customers also influence the brand based on the positive and negative experiences that customers have with the products. The customer is the buyer, decider, and user of the product. Glossier's main competitors are Milk Makeup, RMS Beauty, and ColourPop. These three competitors are similar to Glossier in the target market, brand designs, and distribution models. Glossier's use of social media platforms helps to strengthen their online sales and serves as a strength for the company. The affordable pricing of the products is also appealing to consumers. 
There are many direct and indirect competitors for Glossier within the beauty industry, and no two companies solely compete against each other. Seen in the perceptual map, Milk Makeup is similar to Glossier in terms of quality and pricing. ColourPop is seen as a budget brand and offers similar products for a lower price point. RMS Beauty falls in a higher price point along with offering better quality due to the brand being all natural and non-toxic. All of these brands follow a similar marketing strategy by targeting the same group of consumers. They also all rely on heavy strategy of influencer marketing and social media to grow their reputation and brand awareness. The target market for this campaign will be women ages 18 to 25 who have a high tendency to shop online and are interested in beauty and skincare products. Um, according to Statista, 64% of all Instagram users are ranging from 18 to 29 anyway. And based on the amount of people who already follow Glossier on those social media platforms, this would be the good age range to start. The focus of our campaign will take place on all so sorts of social media platforms, things like Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. But because of this, we will also put efforts into different search engines and hopefully by having these individuals who are already on social media are able to see these easier. We're going to use a combination of positioning strategies, things like product user and product attributes. Um, all the attributes plays to all the different product strengths and unique qualities. We're concentrating on three top products, which is the boy brow, the lash lick, and the cloud paint. Um, we're going to highlight their uniqueness in different advertisements, and we're going to focus on just those three. The quality of these products are what we're going to spotlight, like things like hypoallergenic, dermatologist tested, cruelty-free, and award-winning. And since nearly 49% of all consumers depend on influ influencers' recommendations, we're going to use those influencers to advertise these products and hopefully make partnerships with them. This is the communications objective slide, number one being awareness. Social media and influencers marketing will be utilized in order to increase overall brand awareness. Number two being knowledge, which the influencers marketing increased social presence will encourage the target market to research and try Glossier. Number three being liking the superior online customer service with credible product reviews from the influencers and peers. And another thing being preference, which will use social media advertisements to reinforce the brand and keep it relevant. The next conviction, influencers demonstrate the product with the encouragement to try Glossier products. And the last is purchase, which will use first-time buyers will be given discounts and subscription options on the website, which will hopefully encourage repurchase habits. This slide ties right back to the previous slide and the communication objectives. This campaign will be based along a response hierarchy, and we're using specifically the hierarchy of effects model. This model will be utilized in the campaign to see and measure all the campaign's communication objectives. And going back to the previous slide more in depth, we're using the awareness, knowledge, liking, preference, conviction, and purchase, with the ending being the repurchase and hopefully having the consumers repurchase and keep subscribing through Glossier. As seen on this slide, um, it outlines the entire overall promotional objectives for this entire campaign. The lower level of the pyramids have things like awareness, knowledge, comprehension, and liking, which are much easier to accomplish, resulting in a higher percentage. Consumers exposed to the campaign will slowly move up the pyramid, and the task on the bottom will be much easier for other consumers to perform at the end. And our overall object objectives with this campaign are to have 90% of consumers aware, 70% comprehension, 50% liking, 30% preference, 25% trial, and 8% repurchase. For this campaign, we are going to allocate $60,000 for our total social media platform and influencer advertising budget. For Glossier's 12-month campaign, we are planning to use social media platforms and influencers to promote the brand's three most popular products. The social media platforms that we will be using will include Google search engine ads, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. The budgeting method that will be employed in our campaign is top-down budgeting. With this type of method, top management will set the spending limits and stay within the budgeting range that is provided. All of the budget will be allocated towards social media and influencer relations, as no traditional forms of advertising will be specific to this promotion. So this covers our creative strategy statement. Our objective is to support the overarching goal of growing Glossier's makeup line sales with an 8% repurchase rate. Key benefits is that the makeup is easy to use and doesn't weigh your face down. Um, for support, Glossier has many case studies to back up their product claims, such as the study done for the Lash Slick Mascara within the makeup kit. Claims and promises is that it's easy to use, lightweight feel, and quality ingredients. 
um, product listings will have things such as cruelty-free, fragrance-free, hypoallergenic, and so on. Reassurance is that online reviews and word of mouth serve as a suitable medium for product reassurance and encouragement, and tonality will be empowering and relaxed, fun, and unique. So this slide covers our IMC mix. For budgeting, 70% of the budget will go towards social media platforms such as Facebook and Instagram and search engine ads, and the rest of the budget, about 30%, will be allocated towards the partnerships with social media influencers. For advertising objectives, we are looking to increase awareness about the brand by using social media platforms to reach the target audience, improve brand image by using creative appeals, and providing discounts and subscription options to encourage repurchasing habits. For sales promotion objectives, we're looking to promote sales by using influencer demonstrations to promote the products and encourage consumers to buy them through brand knowledge and awareness. Um, internet and interactive objectives, by using social media for the majority of our advertising, the internet will increase brand awareness within our given target market. And with all the social media advertising we are putting in place, this will reinforce the brand and increase brand exposure. And finally, public relations objectives. Glossé uses non-traditional advertising tactics, and with that, that, through Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, search engine ads, and influencers, we are hoping to see an increase in brand recognition and an increase in overall makeup sales. Our specific media objectives and mix includes a geographical focus on the United States and Canada, with a main focus on New York City, Los Ange Angeles, and Montreal. We have a $60,000 budget over a 12-month time period, factoring to 5000 a month, with those cities above getting more attention and money. We will use Instagram and Twitter ads consistently, and Facebook, YouTube search engine ads will vary in schedule. The three products being promoted are Boy Brow, Lash Slick, and Cloud Paint. In order to evaluate our campaign, we will use analytical data that we will collect and use to measure and monitor the success of the campaign. Meltwater, Pixly, and Google Analytics will be the most used platforms. And if an indicator drops below 30%, the budget for that platform will change, and adjustments will take place every three months.